You get a text from a friend. They've been going through a breakup, so you know they're in a rough place. You read, crying face, broken heart, thundercloud, angry face. You reply, waving hand, love heart, glass of wine, television, question mark. Emojis are one of the symbol systems we use in everyday life. They let us condense the big abstract thoughts in our heads down into a form we can communicate. But, like you understanding your friend's situation, they require context. It's the same when you're studying something largely abstract. Maths, physics, computer science, we all need simple ways to write down the big abstract thoughts in our heads. My personal poison was biochemistry. I remember at high school, my chemistry teacher showed me that symbol at the top and told me that was a molecule called cyclohexane. That is a picture of six carbon atoms and 12 hydrogen atoms. The next year, the one in the middle was cyclohexane. Now with added 3D structure information, Nowadays, I think of it more like the one at the bottom, but even that is a simplification. These are the symbol systems of chemistry. They build on each other, and as a student, you need to learn them fast, or else you learn to misunderstand the chemistry they're trying to teach you. But what if we could get around that risk altogether? What if the first time you learned about a molecule, it was in its true 3D form? What if you only had to learn the symbol systems to describe concepts you already understood? Enter virtual reality. For my thesis, I've created a virtual reality learning experience that teaches you about DNA. <clears throat> it focuses on two subjects that are classically difficult to teach, but easy to show in VR. The scale of DNA and its 3D atomic structure. When you put the headset on, you find yourself in a biology lab, and then you shrink all the way down to atomic size, stopping to take in the view at a couple of points. When you're, down, when you're down there, you find a stretch of DNA you can pick up, pull apart, and put back together again. The interactive 3D DNA helps students form spatial memories about it, and the audio, visual, and physical feedback all help reinforce the learning process. We saw this firsthand with our study of 30 first year biology students. We measured a definite increase in understanding, and they described the experience as unique, engaging, immersive, and fun, all things that majorly help with learning. With this research, I'm going to accelerate the education of the next generation of scientists. But more than that, we're moving into a world of 3D visualization. I want to create the new ways that we look at information, the new symbol systems we need for a whole new generation of media. Oh, just a sec, what was that? Mind blown emoji. <laughs> <laughs>